Well, this one ought to be fun. This is the 10 most dangerous snipers in the world. I hope Chris Kyle made the list. Let's see. They blend into their environment, can sit unseen for days at a time, and cause panic once the enemy knows mm. they are there. Of course, we're talking about snipers. Since the invention of the firearm, these hidden hunters have stalked their enemies across the battlefield and racked up dozens or even hundreds of kills. From the highest scoring to the longest recorded kill, these snipers terrified their enemies and became legends in the process. But before you can pull the trigger, make sure you've hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Carlos Hatcock. Other snipers have more kills or movies made about them, but Carlos Hatcock is a sniping legend. The Arkansas native was deadly with a rifle, and 93 confirmed kills during the Vietnam War proved this. In fact, much of the way snipers are portrayed in Hollywood is directly inspired by Hatcock's exploits. There was a time he crawled for four days to get the perfect shot on an enemy general. There was the five-day period he stalked and terrorized an enemy unit by killing all of their officers. There's even the engagement where he shot an enemy sniper right through his own scope, an act that inspired the famous scene from Saving Private Ryan. Aldebert Waldram. Carlos Hatcock isn't the only high-scoring American sniper to see action in Vietnam. Aldebert Waldron made his mark by being the highest scoring U.S. sniper in that conflict while serving with the 9th Infantry Division. His 109 confirmed kills are made all the more impressive given he achieved that in only 8 months of service. Perhaps his most famous kill occurred while on a patrol boat, Waldron was able to kill an enemy sniper estimated to be 900 meters away. Wow. Craig Harrison. British sniper Craig Harrison has the fewest confirmed kills of anyone on this list, but we don't think he cares. You see, Harrison should be included in any discussion of the deadliest sniper because of what he did during service in Afghanistan. In November 2009, the now 42-year-old sniper sniped two Taliban fighters at an incredible range of 2,474 meters. In fact, the targets were so far away they were beyond the recommended range of his rifle, and the bullet took six seconds to reach its target. Amazing. Chris Kyle. In terms of confirmed kills, he's the highest scoring American sniper of all time. Thanks to the movie American Sniper, pretty much everyone knows the name Chris this Kyle. The Texas native made his name during service in Iraq, where he is credited with 160 official kills. That number is believed to be much higher, but allegedly remains under wraps thanks to the Pentagon. In fact, during his service in Iraq, his reputation became so well known that the enemy eventually slapped an $80,000 bounty on his head. Wow. They never collected it, though. Zhang Tao Fang. Hmm. This sniper saw action in the Korean War and is rated as the deadliest Chinese sniper ever with 214 kills. However, his score is often scrutinized as there were often no other people around to confirm the kill. <laughs> Furthermore, and perhaps incredibly, Zhang reportedly achieved every one of his kills using a rifle that didn't have a scope. Not done there, he also allegedly achieved this tally all within 32 days on the front line. Just how much is propaganda and how much is real might never be known. If any of it is true, however, it means he deserves a spot among the deadliest snipers. Ludmila Pavlichenka. It may be a job dominated by men, but Ludmila Pavlichenka nice. shows that women can be just as nice. deadly behind the trigger. When Germany invaded the Soviet Union in 1941, Pavlichenka had to work awesome. hard to convince recruiters she could serve. Given her chance, she didn't disappoint. Over the course of her service, she sniped 309 mm. enemy soldiers, including 36 German snipers. That tally was enough not only to make her the highest scoring female Soviet sniper, but the highest scoring female sniper of all time. Mateusz Hetzenauer. Like the Soviet Union, the German army deployed many snipers to the front lines during the Second World War. Though they were never as famous as their Soviet counterparts, some were rather deadly at their trade. Take Mateusz Hetzenauer for example. Born in Austria, he ended up serving in a German division where his skills with a rifle led to 345 kills. Hmm. While Hetzenauer survived the war and received all sorts of medals for his exploits, we bet he'd trade all of that to avoid the five years he endured in a Soviet prisoner of war camp. Francis Pegamagabo. 
If you're looking for an example of a one-man army, this indigenous Canadian was it. Canadian Francis Pegamagabo served in the Canadian Expeditionary Force during the First World War. He saw action in numerous major battles and distinguished himself repeatedly. Behind the trigger, this soldier was deadly and racked up 378 kills during the war. This alone made him the highest scoring sniper in Canadian and First World War history. In addition to his kills, he is also credited with capturing 300 enemy soldiers throughout the war. An incredible feat. My jokes about Canada end today. Ivan Sidarenka. The highest scoring Soviet sniper and runner up when it comes to all time deadliest marksman belongs to Ivan Sidarenka. Hmm. He didn't actually start out the war as a sniper, but taught himself how to hunt the enemy. When his skill became evident to his leaders, Sidarenka was put in charge of training and organizing other sniper units. So how good was he? Well, he is credited with 500 kills over the course of the war. In addition, he was such a good shot that he was able to disable an enemy tank and three tractors just with a rifle. Simo Hayoha. When you're nicknamed White Death, you must be good at killing people. Simo Hayoha was just that. During the Winter War against the Soviet Union, this Finnish sniper was credited with 505 confirmed kills. That is the highest record for any sniper ever. Dressed in his white winter camouflage and hidden among the Finnish wilderness, the White Death terrified Soviet soldiers to the point where they used counter snipers and artillery barrages in areas they believed Hayuha was operating. Braving temperatures as low as negative 40 degrees, this record-holding sniper's war came to an end when he was wounded by an enemy's bullet. Well, one thing's for certain, I wouldn't want any of these snipers coming after me. Yeah, if military right. stuff is your thing, why not check out some of the other related videos we have on offer here at The Richest. There's lots to choose from, just be sure to subscribe. Bye bye and thanks. Wow, well that was pretty good. I wasn't sure what to, what to expect out of that. Um, would it be, would there be Americans? Would there be any of the Soviets on there? Um, you know, I was surprised by the Canadian. Uh, very surprised. Uh, I knew about Seven Pool. I knew about that. Um, good stuff, man. Good stuff. So I hope you enjoyed that. I did. Please subscribe to the channel if you would. And I'll catch you guys later. Thanks.